Greetings friends and fellow cigar box guitar enthusiasts, Dale Puckett here. And in this video, I wanna do two things. I wanna get you up to speed on this build here, this license plate build. I just wanna pick up where we left off. And then number two, I wanna hit you with a minor blues lesson. So stick around to the end of this video because once we get done with this guy, we're gonna do some minor blues. Um, no, but first off, I wanted to thank you guys out there, you builders and, and um, Cigar box guitar enthusiasts, I want to thank you for using my cbgiddy.com affiliate link for all your cigar box guitar purchases. Oh my gosh, seriously, dude, I got a nice sweet check in the mail from the commissions. So so when you use that affiliate link, guys, it really supports this channel, man. And I'm telling you, oh my gosh, dude, seriously, man, heart, heartfelt heartfelt thanks to y'all, man. So yeah, keep, keep it up. My gosh, yeah, seriously. Um, there's also a promo code on there. I'm not really sure if it expires or, or how long it is before it expires. So um, if you haven't used that promo code, it's called Puckett CBG. I think it's capital P, Puckett CBG, capital CBG. I think it might be ca case sensitive. I'm not, I'm not sure. Um, an extra 10% off. Oh my gosh, seriously. Thank you guys, man. But I've been busy. I have been busy, um, unfortunately, out of the workshop. I've been uh, putting in a flagstone patio a kitchen remodel uh installed a wood burning stove and i've been going to the mountains and getting wood so i've been kind of um man i haven't been i haven't been up to date with my cigar box guitar bills that's why this one has been taking me so long but i'm really in the final stages that i'm going to whip, whip this guy up so quick uh, in fact I'll, I'll do it it'll be even faster than fast because i'll put it on a time lapse video I'll let you guys see it really all, all i need is just the tuners um Maybe some sort of an oil or stain like that. And then, um, um, gosh, that's it. Just wire up the pickup to the jack. Put a jack in here. Secure the top. Put put in a saddle. And string it up, tune it up, tear it up. All right, so stick around. So first things first, we attach the neck to the frame. And then I was going to put the um, license plate on the top, but... Um, ended up having to glue another piece. So I figured I'll glue it up and then let it dry, and then I will install the tuners. So I got the clamp and clamped the neck and then drilled the tuner holes. To get you up to speed, we are screwed in here, and I also screwed in here. And I had to push this down just a bit to get a little bit of a lip here, so that this piezo would be the right height. So the only thing it's touching is the piezo and then the rim of the license plate. Had a little bit of an accident. This little tab broke off and I screwed into it. So I had to glue it and let it, clamp it and let it dry. But that's okay. So in the meantime, I went ahead and screwed in the, the tuners. If you notice in the time lapse, I did put a clamp on here. Boom. When I started screwing all that, when I started drilling all that, because I didn't, I did not want the neck would just split. And I couldn't find my my Fosner bit, so I used a spade bit. It worked fine, it worked, worked actually really good. But uh, I did use a clamp just to be precautionary, just squeeze it like this, just to give that grain some, some additional support while you're drilling out those, just to avoid any accidents, you know, that's all. Next, screw in the backs of the tuners to secure them in place. And then get a little hook, put it on the top so that we can hang it from a nail if I need to. And then get a file and file out the string slots in the zero thread. I found one of these shutter hinges. I like these things because they kind of wrap around the back side here. And of course these only come with two holes. I had to drill an extra hole in the middle there for the, for the straight three stringer. And then I also did a slot with just the file for my strings. I am opting for these gold little eyelets for the, um, I like to call them a string, like a string tree, but they're like, you just put a bolt through these guys and it kind of forces the string down right here on the back side of the zero fret or the nut, whatever. Um, and that's just to have increased pressure, downward pressure, string pressure on that zero just to keep the strings in place when you're bending over here, you don't want those strings to be popping in and out. So that's why. I'm, and the reason why I went with the gold is because I got the gold tuners, and of course the gold 
wraparound hinge on the bottom. So now the fun part, attaching the plate to the frame. Taking great care to make sure that it's per properly and perfectly aligned. And then I like to get a file and file off the heads of the screw edge just to give it a little bling. Well, I did make a back for this thing. And I might use it, but I might not. And the reason being is because, man, this thing sounds so good without the back. So I thought, man, I might as well try it without the back, see what it sounds like. As far as electronics go, this is an easy one where we are just soldering the piezo just directly to the jack. Just plugging it in to test the piezo. My gosh. This thing's gonna sound awesome. Well, as fate would have it, a battery is actually the perfect height for the saddle for optimum action. So I've used these batteries before in the past and I really like the way they sound. I think it's because they have like a curved launching point, like a curved edge instead of a, sh of a point to launch. Because it's got like that, that kind of rounded surface, it kind of sounds like your palm muting. But anyhow, I like to tell the kids, hey, you guys want to see an electric guitar? Batteries included. And as far as strings go, I got fat strings. I got skinny strings. I got... Oh, Jesus. So I think I'll go with the, uh, the 34, 44, and 26 wound, just to be normal. The nice thing about the southbound strings that we get from cbgiddy.com is the, the ball end where I can take a finishing nail and stick it through the ball end and then catch it on the other side of the hinge. And that's uh, one of my one of my little tricks, one of my common little things that I do most all the time. So we ended up stringing it with the 44, and I'm tuned to G. The 34, I'm tuned to D. And the 26, wound, these are all wound. And this one is also tuned to G. So this is a G, D, G, G, D, G tuning. It's a power chord. <laughs> And then of course I moved the battery around in order to get the harmonics to line up exactly on the frets. Okay, so dude, I could tell right away, remember what I said about this, uh, the roundness of this guy, making it sound like you're palm muting? That's the way it sounds, and I'm not gonna palm mute, it's just. Because kind of when you're doing a palm mute, you're kind of putting like a little roundy on there. So I think when you're doing the battery, you kind of get that effect. Because it definitely doesn't have the punch that the, um, the flat, which I thought might might detract because this this top, you'd, you'd almost guess that you'd want that, that edgy, punchy, bright, crisp. This kind of like kind of tones it down a little bit, you know. plug this in and then let's get to that minor blues lesson I promised you all right and then I'm gonna let these strings stretch out but guys seriously come on I mean the tone of that thing for what for what you put into it oh my gosh seriously and the sound that comes out of it incredible in incredible okay I'm gonna kill two birds with one stone we're gonna do a sound check and a minor blues lesson so I am plugged in with the short leash to the box mini and of course those settings are just straight up straight up boring 
Okay, so this is just tuned to an open power chord. One, five, one. G, D, G. So this is just G. It is neither major nor minor. It is just a, like a power chord. Some, some people call it a G5. So if you wanted to make it major, all you got to do is follow the major scale. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. If you follow that scale, each one of those is a number. You're going to go one, two, three. So here at the fourth fret, that's what they call the major third. Okay, but we want to do minor. So in order to make this minor, all you do is, is uh, lower this one half of a step down to here. That's the minor. So that would be, in this case here, G minor. Again, G major. G minor. And you, can, you should be able to tell the difference. You should be able to hear the difference between like a, like a almost like a happy, sunnier sound. Like a darker, sadder sound. Happy is major, yay, yay, yay. Sad is minor. Oh, oh. Now, so that would be that we would call that the one chord, the minor chord. And a cool little trick here is to instead of just barring one string here, if you bar two of them, this makes it a, what they call a minor seven chord. Almost got like a jazzy sound. And again, I'm just barring two on the third fret. That's the minor, minor seven chord. So G minor seven, or just G minor. And, th and this is the perfect place for like a little, tiny little bend. And because both of these are Gs, right? Everything you do on the high string, you can also do on the low string. Are these two here? Um, if you want to get the top two, I just use my middle fingers and curve them so that this string here goes to the open. And that's a great sound. So if you want to do minor blues, that would be like the perfect place to start right there. And then when we go when we go up here to the to the next chord, the four chord, you same thing. You're gonna make it minor, and the way you do that is you just put this little this this note here of uh, three frets up from from your bar here. I'm barring here at the the fifth fret, so this would go all the way up to the ninth fret, right? To the eighth fret, and you can also do it on the bass string if you want. Also, Ooh, that's a great voicing. So that's a minor chord for the four. And again, you can... You can get all those, all those uh, notes. These are gonna be the minor note. These are the notes that make it minor. Again, if it, if it was up here, it'd be major. And it's the same thing. It's a happy, sunny, sunshine, light, and then it's the dark. Sad. So we're, we're making this chord sad now. And we can make it a, a, a minor seven also. Or. So that would be the four chord. Now when we come up here to the five chord, or to the turnaround, now you have some choices, right? You can make this one minor if you like, which is cool. Um, or you can make it major. And again, you can do this on the high string as well. Major or minor. So all we're doing is we're just kind of forcing every chord to be minor. Now in the in the context of blues, dude, it fits, it fits great. Okay, so I'm gonna make all these chords minor chords, uh, except for the last one, I might make it major just to, to give it some spice or some, some pizzazz or whatever. So here we go.
with it. You know, put put all these chords, um, the minor chords, put them everywhere. My gosh, make make every chord a minor chord. So just play around with it. What I have to do is also put dial up some some reverb, and then just do like inverted chords, like putting the, the third in the bass. Also need to know the the minor pentatonic blues scale and that's easy so it's gonna on the high stringer it's gonna go open to the third fret to the fifth fret to the seventh fret to the tenth fret back up to the twelfth and backwards is 12 10 7 5 3 open four chord instead of like committing to the full minor what you can do is make this one a seventh chord by putting this note down here and you just refret it like this and this is a great and it works perfect for the minor blues this is a four chord and it's, again it's that minor that we were borrowing from the root You can also do that same chord right here. It's called a dominant seven chord or a seventh chord. We can actually take that chord and move it up here to the seventh fret. Now it's it's a it's a it's basically a five chord. Move it back down to the four chord. Down to the minor one chord. So seriously, man, there's there's no end to the madness here. doing this chord down here for the four chord and this here for the five chord well I can do this one here for the one chord again this is all in the context of the minor blues if, I, if I'm doing the the minor third down here on the third fret I can also do it up here past the octave at the 15th fret And this would be the seventh chord. But I just let the top string ring, ring open since it's octave. sound of this thing here i really do if you want to see the build video of this where i built all the backs and stuff it was part of the license plate 3 video series um you can go check that out um i also wanted to share with you in closing um oh yeah i am having a silent auction um i'm selling 
uh, not raffling, I am auctioning off in a private auction um, two of my floor casters, and the proceeds of that are going to go help um, do the flooring at the church across the street. So if you're interested in participating in that, go check out that video here. I will put a link uh, right here and also down in the video description below. Um, uh, one other thing, two, two other things. I do have like a Bible study video that I put together on another channel. I'll put the link here as well where I'm sitting by the fireplace. And it's kind of a fun thing. It's kind of a little bit of a competition between the King James and the NIV. And just a spoiler alert, the King James wins. So it's a lot of fun. Go check that out. And last but not least, if you are interested in having me build you a three-string cigar box guitar, or in this case here, maybe perhaps even a license plate guitar, you can email me at this email address right here, or you can go to my website, which will be um, in the video description below. Fill out the little uh, questionnaire on my website. Guys, that's it for this video. Again, thank you guys for supporting me by using my cbgiddy.com affiliate link for all your cigar box guitar needs all of the parts here um the electronics tuners the frets you know i got these at cbgiddy.com except for this thing here i don't know where i got this from license plate but you can get license plates anywhere all right i'm gonna leave you with a little ditty on the outro one of the cool things about this box mini is it's got this button right here to do is get that black all over these frets this is a brand new guitar but because it's all getting black it's gonna get all trash looking right off the bat and I just turn up the speed turn up the volume
guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. We will see you in the next one. Cheers. You guys remember that song, Hey Diddle Diddle, the cat and the fiddle? The cow jumped over the moon. Little dog laughed to see such a sport that the dish ran away. Yeah, you know the song. You know the song. All right, well, just, just tune up your guitar and then just make it work, man. Hey Diddle Diddle. Jumped over.